Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. Today I am in the beautiful port city of Yokohama. Yokohama is actually one of the first port cities to open up after the seclusion policy of Japan ended after 1859. So, because of that, there are a lot of really historic Western influenced buildings. It's a beautiful place to visit. And on top of that, there's a lot of foods that were imported from foreign countries because of that foreign influence. So, let's go and check out, first of all, Chinatown. Let's go! This is the Yokohama Chinatown! It's the largest Chinatown in all of Japan. Let's see what kind of delicious goodies we can find. All right, I'm at my first stop for the day in Chinatown, and I found a great example of a Japanese and Chinese fusion food a chashu melon pan. Chashu is barbecue pork, and the melon pan is actually a Japanese baked bread in the shape of a melon. And this was really popular, especially like in the Showa era. Oh my gosh, the melon bread is so delicate, it just like it kind of crumbles when I pick it up. Let's take a bite. Itadakimasu. Oh my gosh, that's super hot. <laughs> I couldn't even like bite all the way in. It's like you can tell it's gonna burn my mouth. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> it is remarkably flaky. Like this, the bottom pastry is so flaky. It's almost like a croissant. The saltiness really balances nicely with that flaky, crispy sweetness of the pastry. Really good. I recommend this. Mm, this is so good that even the pigeons come in to join me for crumbs. I'm gonna finish munching on these and let's go explore some more delicious food. I found something really cute, so I'm gonna go get it. So, this is my pandaman. It's a strawberry pandaman. It's a Chinese style steamed bun, but the filling is a Japanese favorite strawberry filling. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm, really good. This tastes a little bit like a mixture of red bean paste with some really vibrant, fruity strawberry flavor. And the bun is super fluffy, super chewy. Your classic steamed bun. But now that I've tried a few Chinese inspired dishes, it's now time to try something Western inspired. It is now time for me to have a little sit down lunch. So I've arrived at Kubota Shokudo, which has been around since 1947. And they specialize in Japanese Western food. So let's go inside and see what we can try today. Thank you. Lots of. Western style dishes and Western inspired dishes. This is Hayashi rice, hashed beef with rice. This is a classic example of yoshoku, Japanese Western food. So I might have to get one of those. And this is another good one Hambagu. If we're talking about Japanese Western food, Hambagu is also a must. So I think I'm gonna get one of these as well. I'm a hungry girl today. Wow, take a look at this. This is a photo of what the shop looked like when it first opened. But apparently at the beginning, it was a Japanese restaurant. And then, 19 years ago, they switched to Japanese Western food. このハンバーグの特徴はダイコンおろしとあとシソとあとバンドネギが載ってます。で、照り焼きソースがかかってます。このお店にしてからは15万食以上皆さんに召し上がっていただいております。で、毎日手でパティを作ってやってます。うちのお店のハヤシライスのハヤシソースは牛バラ肉とあと牛すじも入れてあってトマトソースの酸味もありながらコクのあるソースに仕上がってるのでそれとご飯を混ぜて召し上がっていただいてますおおこれは本当においし
a taste that I'm very familiar with, but what makes Hayashi rice so special is the tomatoes. If it was just a beef stew, I think it would be like really, really heavy, but what's good about it is it's like it's really light, it's refreshing. You get a little bit of that acidity from the tomatoes, but you can also really enjoy that delicious, tender beef, and it goes so well with rice. Thank you. This also smells incredible. Oh, and look at that bubbling. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, look at that. Yeah, let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's really good too. I can see why this is a favorite at this restaurant. The sauce itself is, you can taste a lot of like onions. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Nice balance between salty and fresh and summery. And of course the meat, super, super juicy. A wonderful hamburger steak. Mmm. So once I finish up with this meal, I still have one more place to take you guys. We're gonna go to a really, really historic Yokohama hotel to try some Yoshoku Japanese Western style foods that were invented at that hotel. My last stop of the day is the Hotel New Grand. It's an incredibly historic hotel that opened in 1927. And it's hosted many famous guests such as Babe Ruth, General MacArthur, and even Charlie Chaplin. Okay, I have to try the foods that were born in this hotel. So let's try. このドリアの特徴はですね、しっかりと丁寧に敷き詰めるですね、バターライスを仕上げるかというところが大きなポイントなんですね。バターの中に人参とか玉ねぎとか入れてですね、そして、お米を一つ一つまでね、パラパラに
Wow, that is so good. And I think what's really, really unique about Napolitan is the, the noodles. The noodles always taste really, really chewy. It's not an al dente style like a lot of Italian pastas are, but that's what makes this one really, really unique. Most Napolitans use ketchup, but this one actually uses tomato puree, and that was the original way that they made it. So this is really a very fancy dish. It's amazing. What an amazing meal. But this actually wraps up my day here. It was so much fun walking down the street. And of course, all of the foods were so delicious. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and a comment, share, and of course, subscribe. And we'll see you guys very soon in another video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.